my name is Kim Laszlo. I will be 26 in a month, and I make an adult style, lifestyle content here on YouTube. Um, most of my videos are vlogs through grad school, but you also get life updates and other random videos and stuff like that. Um, this video is a life update, which is very much needed, um, because it has a lot to explain um, over the past few months of life, my life. Um, but I also have a little guest here with me today. Um, everyone should know Bella by now, but this is my dog. Oh, come on. Hi. And she's just chilling out with me while I film this video. Hey, baby girl. Yeah, you go right there. Alright, so, huh. Life update. So, April, what I was really up to was getting to watch a women's wrestling. Um, Easter and then spring break. So uh, in April my class was culture and social justice studies. It was a really interesting class because we took a look at our own culture um, which is really important when you're a therapist to learn about your own culture and your biases and learn about other people's cultures as well. Um, this class was very interesting but it's also super challenging because there were a lot of things that I had to think about that I never really thought about. Um, I want to say it challenged any biases I had, but it just made me think in ways that no class really made me think before. Kind of reminded me of that critical thinking class that I had in um, undergrad. Um, our final paper was comparing a dominant group that we were part of and a minority group we were part of. And that was a really, really hard paper to write. Um, so the dominant group I wrote about experiences within Christianity and then being a lesbian was my minority group. Um, though really being lesbian and being Christian are a minority in itself. Um, and I felt like this was like the easiest to write about because while I don't fully identify with Christianity anymore, I have a lot to say about it from the times that I did identify with that uh, faith. Um, I ended up with an A minus in the class, which I'm very proud of. Um, it still counts as an A grade to me, an A is an A, whether it's an A plus, A or A minus. Um, and I did not break my straight A streak. Uh, beginning of April, one of my childhood best friends uh, came to stay with me for a day, and she's gone in into watching Florence Pugh's movies, thanks to my influence. And so I had her watch Fighting with My Family, which is about a girl named Sabrina who becomes the youngest female to be signed with WWE. I love Soraya, she's amazing, she's one of my favorite wrestlers, um, and Florence Pugh is freaking fantastic in that movie, and so watching that movie just made me fangirl all over again, because it's one of my favorite movies ever, and then I kind of went, I wanted to see the original match where Soraya fights, or Paige, as her name was back then, um, goes against AJ Lee, and then wins the Divas Championship. And from that, it kind of was just a rabbit hole to find out that Soraya is back to wrestling. So then I was watching matches of Soraya's, and Bert Baker, and Thunder Rosa, my favorite. And then Jamie Hayter, and Andy Priestley, and Rhea Ripley, and just kind of snowballed into me watching a lot of women's wrestling. And that made me very, very obsessed with it. Um, to the point where, in some way, shape, or form, I'm going to be a pro wrestler. Um, which makes me so excited to think about. Um, and that's kind of why I started the martial arts classes, but I will get to that in a second. Um, but it was really fun getting to get into this. I started watching the All Elite Wrestling Show Dynamite. Um, obsessed with it. I bought the pay-per-view that they had um, last month. Uh, only because Jamie Hayter was in it, and she's one of my favorite wrestlers. Even though I was very, very pissed off at the outcasts for injuring her shoulders so Tony would win. And like I thought it was very unfair. Um, but through that, I was thinking, okay, so how do I get to there? How do I start pro wrestling? And we don't have any kind of wrestling in my very small town. So if I were to do actual wrestling, it would have to be in the city. And I am not on tribe yet anyway. Um, so I thought, and 
MMA, mixed martial arts, would be a great starting place. Um, I mean, only have um, one dojo in my hometown. I know there's one in a town nearby, but again, I don't know. Um, so I had looked up this place and I emailed the coach being like, hey, do you have classes for adults? I'd love to join. And then we had a conversation on the phone. She was going away for a month. So when she got back, she called me. Um, and they don't have like specific classes for adults, but they have a MMA master class that is beginner through adult, um, or beginner through advanced, I should say. And it's like the youngest kid I think is nine and then I'm the oldest one, so it's, um, but it's so much fun. I've been doing it for a month now and I'm obsessed. Uh, we did grappling yesterday, which is my absolute favorite. Um, and I learned a choke hold. So I know like one way to choke someone now. Um. I learned the arm bar in my second class, which is a very advanced move, and I really honestly thought that, that I would learn that move a lot later on, not like in the second class. Um, it's a lot of fun. I'm not the biggest fan of the sparring part, um, but the grappling is just where I have my fun. Um, I started that in May, so I'll get to that. Um, let's see what else do I have for the month of April. Uh, work had their spring break, um, the week before Easter, um, so we, we had school slash work during Holy Week, um, I have never really done any kind of, like, Holy Week celebrations before, but I was curious, so I went, um, I did the Monday Thursday communion, which was really nice, um, during the service, we ate bread and soup like Jesus and his disciples did. Um, then Friday was Good Friday, that was a great service. Um, Sunday I worked with the kids at the Easter egg hunt, and that was a lot of fun. Um, I loved setting up the Easter egg hunt for the kids, and then hanging out with part of my community. Um, even though, like I said, I don't fully believe in Christianity anymore. I've been working at kids' church or Sunday school for a little over a year now, I think. Um, and I work because I like the people there. I like the kids. I like that the lessons are very simplistic. Um, it's Jesus loves everybody, period. Not Jesus loves everybody except these people. Um, so that was really nice. Um, spring break, the actual spring break we had, ended up being the third week of my math class. So I still had school work to do. Um, but thankfully, in most of my classes, every week is structured the same way. So there's not a lot of like extra work that I would have to do. Um, let's see, Thursday of that week, I had to go to the city where I met my best friend Haley. And we hung out at the bookstore and we had lunch together and that was really fun. Um, and then she like came over and we had a sleepover and that was so much fun. Um, we wanted to be roommates one day. Uh, that was our plan for next year is to move to the city and be roommates together. And so her sleeping over and then my parents only home that day is kind of like a good substitute with us being roommates. Um, it's going to be amazing. I'm so excited. Uh, let's see. So sometime in April, I was going to get my hair redone, but I was debating about doing the split dye that was very much inspired by Jamie Hayter. And she had this like orange, red, and then black hair, and I really liked it, but I refused to do red hair, um, and I really like the blonde that I have, so I'm like, okay, I'm gonna look up blonde and dark colors, and I loved it, and I had a lot of friends try to convince me not to do it, because it took me a whole year to get to the blonde that I wanted, and like, right before I did this, I was at the blonde that I wanted to have, so they kind of were like, uh, you're wasting your money, you might not like it, it's taking you a whole year to be able to do this. Are you sure? I'm so glad I didn't listen because let me tell you, I am obsessed with the blonde and the darker hair. It is a lot blonder in like natural lighting than it looks on camera. It's very much like the golden age blonde that I like. Um, but I feel like I had to keep my hair like this like until maybe I graduate from her that obsessed. And now if I were to like, when I get my hair touched up, I just have to do this one side because
because my natural hair color is pretty dark anyway, so it's really hard to tell on this side what part is my natural color and what part is dyed. Um, so maybe it'll be like half the price to just fix one side of my head. Um, so that was a lot of fun. I did not tell my parents about this. Like they knew I was dyeing my hair, of course, because they had to dry me, but they didn't know what I was doing. Um, I knew if I told my parents they'd try to help me out of it, and I really did not want that. And I didn't want my mom's opinion of my hair to ruin the idea that I had. Um, I was very surprised that she liked it. I thought she would hate it. Um, and this is probably the most, like, rebellious thing I've ever done. Let's see. So then May 22nd, um, my coach was back from her trip. And I was finally able to start my martial arts classes. Um, May 22nd, I had my first private with her, and that was a lot of fun. Um, and then, like, in that class, I got to learn punches, kicks, and strikes. Um, I got to learn how to break down a hold if someone is grabbing my wrist, how to break out of that. Um, and then I started the master classes. And they are Monday and Thursday nights, and they've been amazing. They've been so much fun. Um, despite the panic attacks that I get, like, the day of class, for I don't know what reason. Um, once I'm there, I'm having so much fun. Um, and so far, I haven't missed a single class, and I refuse to miss a class. No, sorry, I take that back. I think I missed one class. Um. But yeah, it's, it's been a lot of fun. Um, one of my classmates told me that the coach bad you about me. Um, I don't know what she was saying, but that made me feel really good. Um, and the really cool thing is that my coach and I are friends now. Um, I, it's really hard in this small town to make friends that are other adults because either, it's hard to make people friends around my age. A lot of the adults are like 18 and younger or in like that age group and I'm not really interested in being friends with people that young just because we're in very different life stages and different developmental stages. Um, and I'm very much like the mom friend so if I'm friends with someone younger who's about to do something stupid I'm probably going to tell you not to do that and if you do it I'm going to get kind of irritated. Um, but I really like making friends with people who are older than me or around my age. Um, and so I think my coach is really cool and I really wanted to be friends with her. Um, so I messaged her, I'm like, hey, you wanna get coffee after class sometime? And like through scheduling and stuff, we weren't able to it for a while, but we finally did last week and it was amazing. Um, we're both pretty introverted people, but it was just so much fun just to to someone else that's an adult and we've had similar experiences we have similar feelings towards things that we've done um and it's just great like now i get to take classes with a friend um yeah so i'm hoping that we get a coffee next week i was hoping for this week um but i will settle for next week Let's see. I'm looking at my blog post over here of my update. Um, my May class was really stressful, to be honest. I don't even remember what the class was called. Community mental health. That's right. Um, there were a lot of long assignments that we had to cram into one week, and that was really challenging. Um, we had to take observation out of the community mental health facility, and I kept calling, trying to in to just do an observation um and it just never worked out so eventually i just had it over the phone where i just talked to um the director for benefits and i got her to answer all of the questions that i had um but it was an interesting class and i got hung up respects in every single assignment and an a in the class um and like I said, I, my inner child was definitely really bad. Um, getting straight freaking A's is amazing. 
And then um, my bonus little thing is just some thoughts that I have about an, about grad school so far. Um, like my undergrad program, all of this is reading essay and project based, which is what I thrive on. I love to read and I love to write. The research part, not my favorite. But I've always been good at projects. I've always been good at writing papers. Um, it's testing. It's memorizing a bunch of information and spitting it on the test that I've always struggled with. And that's what ultimately were lower my grade in school was exams. Like in undergrad psychology, a lot of it was test based. And that I think is the reason, one of the reasons why I didn't do so good. I feel like if I hadn't been dealing with the brain fog and the chronic pain and the medication side effects and it had been essay based i would have done way better but even like without all the health issues i think i would have done okay test based um like now if i were in a test based program i think i would do okay um wouldn't be my favorite but i think i could do it um and i'm very glad that it's all essay project based because that's like i said what i'm good at um now that I'm in a program that's right for me, I know where I want to thrive, and so far I have. Um, it's just been so much easier than I thought it would be. I thought grad school would be way harder than it is. Um, and maybe it's just my program that I'm finding really easy. Um, I'm sure there are other grad, grad school programs out there that are a lot harder than this. Um, but it's just, it's been great. The only like thing that I think would be better is if my classes were six weeks instead of four. Um, because when I was an undergrad, my classes were six weeks long, and I felt like that was a lot easier as far as having time to finish all of the assignments. Because sometimes it can be really stressful trying to get all of these assignments done when they're due. Um, and each class I have is four weeks, and so I feel like with four week long classes, we don't get to learn about the subject as much as we should. Um, I feel like these are very much an intro to these subjects, but I feel like there's so much more we can be learning about these things. Like, in the class that, I'm in, that I just finished, um, Therapeutic Social Theory, there was, there's so much more to the types of therapy we were learning that trying to cram it all in one week just wasn't, wasn't great. Um, like, I think we could have taken a whole a month to learn about just one of the types of therapy that we were learning about. Um, like take a whole month to learn about existentialism or take a whole month to learn about um, Jung's therapy or Christ's therapy. It's really hard to do that in just one week. Um, and so I feel like I don't have a good enough grasp on these types of therapies as I would if my classes were longer. Um, but overall, grad school is going really well and I'm really loving it. I'm actually on break this week. Um, and then I don't get another break until Christmas, which is lovely. Um, but it's fine, I can deal because I will get breaks from work. I'm um, working at the high school here. So I will have time, sometimes off, even if it means I'm still doing my grad school program at the same time. Um, but that's the update that I have for you guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, as always, make sure to give it a big one of these and leave one of those. Hit subscribe. See you guys next time. Bye.